What's up? What's happening, folks? Welcome back to the channel Sports Life and Politics TV. I'm Samuel Koppel, YouTube's number one couch detective, member for the news. And here yesterday, there was a young boy in Mississippi, 11 years old, who was shot by a police officer. There was a domestic dispute at his house. He called the police, helping out his mom. And when the police got there, somehow the young boy came around the corner. It was at 4.30 in the morning. And the young boy wound up shot. Now, thank God the young boy was okay. It looked like it was only a flesh, a flesh wound and a grazing wound. But a domestic dispute at 4.30 in the morning, what the hell was going on? Let's take a look at the clip. No justice, no peace. Now, as you can see, they have they <laughs> everybody have their little signs up. Release body cam footage. Fire Greg Capers now. Justice or else with the little fist. Uh, police shot my baby. And I guess this is a, a in Dola, in, uh, Mississippi. I ain't never even heard of that because it's a real small town. But, you know, having these things happen, it's terrible, obviously. But the last thing you want as a black person is the police at your house at 4.30 in the morning with a domestic dispute where your child has to call the police. That's what you don't want. Now, this officer... He's in a boatload of trouble. <laughs> he didn't fire his gun. He better have a damn good reason because the body cam footage probably is pretty damning. A lot of times when the body cam footage is in favor of the police, they release it pretty fast. What's in favor of the citizen? That shit takes a long time to come out. So keep the video going. Protesters who arrived at Indianola City Hall today had a clear message. Fire and charge the Mississippi officer who shot an 11 year old boy after he called police for help. He's lazy. I don't know how else to describe it, how else to describe how he survived. Nicola Murray says her son Adarian was following the officer's orders when he was gunned down inside their home. He said, gun down. They sound like he was dead. I seen the little boy. He was standing up. He had like a little patch on like he had, you know. But it, I don't think the bullet went through. I don't know if it grazed, but he didn't look like he was in terrible shape when I seen the picture. Well, the way he used phrased it, gun down, like he was shot 13 times and didn't make it. Saturday morning, Murray says she asked her son to call police over a domestic dispute as she argued with the father of one of her children. She said. So she had. It was multiple men that was father. So I don't think the little boy who called the police, I don't think that was his father that she was into it with. As the officer arrived with his gun in hand, ordered everyone out of the home, and when Adarian came around a corner, he was shot in the chest. <laughs> That's interesting. He was shot in the chest. Damn, he's standing straight up and he's all right. Damn, that's God. Is that God? It's good. Does it look like he just, you know what I mean? Like if you get shot through the chest, you be toe up. I, I don't know, maybe the bullet shot him at an angle. You know what I'm talking about? Or like and came out the side, like of the fat of the chest, like the muscle. Maybe it wasn't, because if it, if that shit went direct through, like see where the, the uh, bandage is at, if that shit just went straight through and out the back or into all, oh, it, it would have broke bones. It would have damaged some organs. But he looks, that's why I say he looks to be okay. And that's a blessing. Asked me in the hospital, like, why they shot him. He was in good spirit, but every now and then I look over at him and he'll just cry. With no comment from Indianola police, the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation says they are assessing this critical incident, but for now offers no further comment. As the officer remains on administrative leave, the Murray family says the shooting was captured on body cam and is demanding the video be released. She needs justice, and so she's fighting on behalf of her son, who didn't ask to be shot. Back home today, Adarian is lucky to be alive after his family. Hey, that lawyer got a little pop tart now. A little sweet. He says his call for help nearly killed him. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News. Yeah, I'm just glad the little boy is all right. That's a blessing. Look like he I just got a flesh wound. And, you know, I put 80% on that cop, but I put 20% on that mom and that baby daddy. With all that goddamn mess in the middle of the night of the message with you. And the little boy got to go call for help and shit. And a lot of times, 
in some of these houses when you have all that type of mess going on. This be this is like normal behavior that the young boy has to witness. His mama fighting on one of the baby daddies and all that shit. Yeah, she need to get that shit together. And the baby daddy. He fighting and wrestling on the baby mama. Man, if she don't want you, it's over. Shit. Yeah, dude, you got a used car. Hey, you bought a lemon. It's all right. Move on, brother. Yeah, you ain't got to be fighting and hitting on the poor lady. Let it go. I'm not just going to go over that clip of the young boy out of Mississippi calling for help and end up getting shot. He's only 11 years old and already has the luck of a Negro. Unbelievable. But this has been Sports Life and Politics TV. I'm Samuel Koppel, YouTube's number one couch detective. I'm here for the news. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. I just took your ass. It's way too young to be having to call the police for your mama ride. Peace.